take a vow. I don't know, Gregory. You don't think Parent Trap survived the blob, did you? That's impossible, Gregory. The chances of Burn Trap surviving are impossible. We should double check Freddy and make sure he's gone unless you want him to escape. Gregory, I don't think we should be doing this. Something doesn't feel right here. Come on, Freddy. We gotta make sure that Burn Trap doesn't show up. Or else there'll be more murders. All on Z! Holy Fazbear's. Gregory just jumped in. Gregory! Gregory, what are you doing? You can't just jump into a pit without thinking. Come on, Freddy. Like Edge would say, nothing finished, nothing gained. When Edge said that, I'm pretty sure he didn't mean for you to like fall down some random hole without thinking of the consequences. Hey, did the background just change? Gregory, that was, without a doubt, the dumbest thing you have ever done. Why would you just jump into a random hole without thinking? Sorry, Freddy, but how else were we supposed to get down here? We take the freaking stairs, Gregory. Wait, stairs? Freddy, I don't see any stairs. And is that natural light? Whatever happened, I don't think we're underneath the pizza plex anymore. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. What's wrong, my beloved Edge? I sense we are about to get two new visitors from another world. I'll go and see who our visitors are. You three stay here, we're safe. Please be careful, Edge, and come home safely. Remember you promised to spend a little quality time with me later in the bedroom. Mom? What do you mean by private time? I'll tell you when you're older, Ezreal. You keep giving me the same excuse, Mom. When will I be old enough to hear all of this? When you're in college, Adriel. Gregory, I can't seem to make contact with the pizza plex. It appears that we have been completely cut off. And I don't see any charging stations. So I might have to use my batteries very sparingly. It appears that you two have met a horrible fate. Perhaps I can help you with your so-called energy problem. Edge, is that you? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back at the pizza box with your girlfriend mangled? I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, I think Alfreds can help you, Freddy, with your so-called energy problem. Let's head back to my house so I can call her. In the meanwhile, you, uh, Gregory, was it? You can, uh, hang out with my stepson, Adriel, and my daughter. Wait, you're married? You have a daughter? Is she single? Gregory! What? It's a honest question. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Moon. You'll never guess I got something you said I never find. A clue? Ha ha, Noah Pokemon. What? Moon, may I introduce the new member of the daycare attendants, Lorandis the Pokemon. Son, where the hell did you find a Pokemon in the first place? Simple Moon, I went into the back of the pizza flex and into the tall grass like any Pokemon trainer would to catch the Pokemon. Son, you're not a Pokemon trainer, and where are we going to do with a Pokemon in the first place where daycare, not a Pokemon center? I figured she would help us entertain children. Children love Pokemon. Come on, come on, open up your stupid door. Uh, Monty? What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to open this damn door. I tried everything. I tried oiling the hinges. Nothing happens. I tried locking the door. I tried unlocking the door. Nothing happened. I don't know what else to do. Did you try pushing the door, Monty? Who screwed you two? Phillips or Flathead?
I'm just going to head into the security room now. Wait, Monty, have you seen Freddy or Gregory anywhere we can't find them? Roxanne asked me that same question, that's why I'm checking the security rooms. Maybe they showed up on camera somewhere. Hey, wait a second. Why am I so short? To be more accurate? Accurate to what, Mangled? Real life? And you're breaking the 4-4. Well, do you blame me? I mean, I have been dating you. I was bound to pick up a few things from you. Okay, you got me there, Mangled. I don't understand anything about this fourth wall nonsense you're talking about. Can you two be quiet so I can reveal the security footage? Well, Monty, you might want to stop watching one of Shadowfan 82's earlier videos and actually activate the camera footage. Okay, okay, let me just subscribe to Shadow Fun 2 and I'll get to work on pulling up the video for this and me. Why don't you two just make out or something? Animator, all I have to say is, you better make me the same size as Mangold in the next scene because this size makes making out with her a little awkward. Well, there they are, Freddy's and Gregory headed down to the old pizza we are ruined. Are there any charging stations down there for Freddy? Two, but ever since the fire, they've been unusable. It appears that this mystery has become a rescue mission, Monty. Get your friends and supplies. I'll get to work on building a portable recharging station. Hopefully we can find them before Freddy's batteries completely run out. Are you sure that's not just an excuse so I can leave the room so you two can make out? Are you sure you don't want another kick to the boats, Monty? No, no. That won't be necessary, Edge. I'll go get the crew together. Wow, whoever created this animatronic did a poor job in his power source. No worries, Gregory. I make sure to upgrade it to a more efficient one. Alfie's, you are amazing, but I have to ask, why don't you supposed to be a lot more timid, Elise? That's what your friends told me. Well, it thinks to them I was able to build my confidence. Even Toria's husband, Edge, was a huge help. He's the best human I've ever seen. Sounds like you might have a little crush on him. Don't, don't be silly, Gregory. He's just a friend. He's already married anyways. Then explain this body pillow I just found in your closet, Alfie's. That's, that's not mine. I have no idea where that came from. It says property of Alphys on the back. Wait, what do you do with a body pillow anyway? We'll, we'll tell, tell you when, when you're, you're older. older. Okay, I think it's safe to say we're not underneath the pizza place anymore. Oh, what was your first clue, Monty? The fact that we could actually see sunlight, or the fact that we actually passed through a dimensional rift? Wait, that was the dimensional rift we went through. Yes, Chica, we went through a dimensional rift. And sometimes when you're traveling through a dimensional rift, you end up in an alternate universe. Now, the circumstances between these worlds can be very similar, and or not at all. And judging by the experience we are seeing, I'm saying that this world is going to be totally different than the one we came from. So basically what you're saying instead of you being with Mangled here in this reality, you could end up being with either me or Chica. Exactly, Roxanne. Heck, for all we know, in this reality, you and Monty could be a thing. Yeah, I don't see that happening, Edge. Wow. Good thing I'm not human or I would have got hurt by that burn. Guys, I think a kid is coming, or at least I think it's a kid. It's hard to tell in the shadows. It looks like it has floppy ears. Howdy Travel, this my name is Atreel. Welcome to the Edge. What are you doing here? I thought you were taking Freddy and Gregory to see Doctor Office. What the heck? Why is everything paused all of a sudden? Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt the animation, but are you the avatar known as Edgeblade? Um, yeah, I'm Edgeblade, but who are you, and what are you doing here? I am terribly sorry for pausing the animation, but the animator wants me to give you this letter. Oh great, he's probably planning on shipping me with another female. Again! Well, might as well see what we got here. Hand over the letter. Okay. Effective immediately. All of Edge's female companions shall be played by the shape-shifting red panda known as Sophie. Who's Sophie? That would be Edge. It's nice to be working with you. You? 
You are not a red panda. You look more like a bootleg copy of Isabel from Animal Crossing. Well, hum. Etch, if you're not liking how he look, he can fix that. Is, is this more to your liking, Mr. Etch? Okay, I seem to recall the letter saying you can shapeshift. I apologize. But what about the other animatronics? Won't they notice the so-called change? Not at all. It would be like he will always stating they won't know the difference. Okay, but you don't look like an animatronic, and I just realized that's not a problem for you, is it? I'm actually it. Yes. If, if you don't mind waiting, I can show you, if you would like. Well, hum. Etch, if you're not liking how he look, he can fix that. Is, is this more to your liking, Mr. Etch? Okay, I seem to recall the letter saying you can shapeshift. I apologize. But what about the other animatronics? Won't they notice the so-called change? Not at all. It would be like he will always stating they won't know the difference. Okay, but you don't look like an animatronic, and I just realized that's not a problem for you, is it? I'm actually it. Yes. If, if you don't mind waiting, I can show you, if you would like. Wow. I have to say, Sophie, other than the color difference, that's a pretty good imitation of Mangold. But that brings up a good point. Who's Mango going to be shipped with now? We'll leave that to the audience or so choose who should be shipped with Mango now. Freddy? Monte? Bonnie? Foxy? Your choice. So, or Adriel, was it? I'm not the as you, you assume I am. Have you ever heard of the multiverse theory? Yes, Dot I know about the multiverse. How does a little pit sweet like you know about the multiverse? You would be surprised with my version of Edge has taught me. For example, Anvil. Anvil? What does that mean? Oh, screw you, kid. Phillips. Or Flathead. Yep, he's definitely learning from your counterpart Edge. Avast me, lassie. What do you think of coming on to me crew as me first mate? Foxy, are you asking me out on a date? Aye, lassie. It be that obvious? Honesty except for the pirate accent, yeah, it's pretty obvious. I don't know though, Foxy, I have to check with my father first. Very well, Mingo. Who be this father figure you speak of? Why Edge, of course. Edge. Why be thinking of him as a father figure? He be not even an animatronic. Well, Foxy, if it wasn't for Edge, I would just be a pile of junk in some scrapyard. I mean, he literally gave me a new life, so why should I think of him as my dad? When you think of it like that, Mangold, it makes perfect sense that you would refer to him as your father. Say, if him and Sophie ever, you know, tied or not, would that make her your mother-in-law? Greetings, travelers. It is I, the Great Papyrus. Are you hungry for... Wait, Edge, what are you doing here? I thought you were taking that robotic bear to Alphys. Oh, uh, this is Edge's twin brother, also known as Edge. Adriel, what are you thinking? Why are you saying we're brothers? Look. It's just a lot easier to explain to everyone that you're his brother, unless you want to explain to everyone about the only first fairy. Hey, I hope you don't find me rude, but I'm just curious. What the heck are you? You look like a fusion between several different characters. What exactly are you? I don't know. I mean, I confused with so many different characters. It's hard to tell. I mean, and my dog and my freaking bunny. Am I a freaking psychic fairy? I don't know anymore. But anyway, what are you to judge? I mean, look at you. What are you? You look like a mix between Toyo from Undertale and Minerva Mink from the Animaniacs. Heck, what's your name anyway? Ow, ow, both of you. Ow, ow, come contact me, Gregory, once I'm done with Freddy's upgrades. Wow, what was that about you two? 
I found a body pillow and it had a picture of you and on the back it said property of Dr. Alfies. Excuse me everyone I need to have a private check with the good doctor. I think you two just signed Alfies' death warrant. Oh, my stomach feels like it's in a boxing ring. Oh. Damn it, Papyrus! What do you put in that dish in the first place? Oh, uh, let me think here. I use spaghetti. I use tomato sauce, three cans, along with tomato paste, basil, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of sugar to sweeten it, and my secret ingredient, glitter glue. Who puts glitter glue in pasta? I put glitter glue in all my dishes. Who's that obsessed with glitter glue? Perhaps somebody who still thinks finger painting is cool, Sophie. Apparently you two never met Sun Drop before. And now, thanks to Isabel, I'm stuck as a female Pokemon forever. Uh, you do realize it takes 24 hours for skin cells to fall off your body, right? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, super glue is probably attached to the skin cells, which probably means in a couple of days, you can remove the costume no problem. <laughs> what? You didn't know that? No, of course not. If I did, I wouldn't have gotten so upset with Isabel. Um, hi. I don't mean to interrupt your conversation, but, uh, I have two questions. One, why do you two sound just like me? And second, what am I doing here? Ah, you must be new here. This is known as the hub. It's where edges from different realities can get together and have a conversation with each other. Yeah, you got here after eating something made by Papyrus and passing out. Wait, are you saying I die from eating Papyrus's cooking? Nah, you should wake up as soon as I finish pumping your stomach out. Yeah, your friends are currently rushing you to the hospital as we speak. In the meanwhile, want to do some training? Uh, sure, but how long does it take for a stomach to get pumped anyway? About 20 minutes, give or take. Wait, is that long enough to do any training? Time is irrelevant here. Um, guys, I need to ask. Where's the recharge station? Oh, we don't need that anymore, Edge. Yeah, thanks to DR Alphys, we all have infinite power engines, so we no longer need the research station. That didn't answer my question. I asked where the recharge station is, not if you guys still need it. Oh, Dr. Alphys asked us to store it in the waiting room. What can possibly go wrong by having it in the waiting room? Hey, what's wrong with this toilet? Why won't it flush already? It's starting to stink in here. So, the rumors are true. There is another version of me going around. Look, we don't want any trouble. We're just here finding our friends Freddy and Gregory. As soon as we get them, we'll head back to our reality. We don't want no trouble. Your reality? You must not know what's going on here. Toria, why don't you take our friend's guest and wait in the waiting room? I have to have a little conversation with my counterpart here. Okay, maybe beloved, just let me leave you a little party and gift so I can tell you to a part. What type of party? Just a little something to remember me by Edge. You called that a kiss. Let me show you how it's done, hey Edge. Her top said you all that good. What? Did you just call my wife? But she's literally an old good and to be honest you could do a better turn here. You know I think I have a box of pizza I haven't finished yet. Yeah, and I determined to um, um, my, uh, detail. Uh, see you later. And I think I'm going to go check up on Freddy and my adopted son Gregory. Bro? I think you might need to leave that hospital bed. I get the feeling once this is done, your girlfriend is going to be needing that a lot more than you will.